intelligence can be a curse. By intelligence, I'm specifically talking about people who are academically gifted. There are different types of intelligence in the world. Some people are better at certain things, and I think that makes them smart in that category. But I want to focus on academic intelligence, people who are good at math, people who go to college and get good grades. Let's talk about why that can actually be a curse. And it doesn't have to be. And if you feel that you are not smart, if you feel that you struggle compared to your classmates, compared to your friends, compared to others, this video can also help you because you can see things from a different perspective, from the perspective of a person who is very, very good at mathematics. And if you're good at math, this can help you open your eyes and hopefully avoid some of the mistakes that highly intelligent people make. And again, I want to emphasize, I'm specifically talking about people who are academically smart because I genuinely believe that there are different types of intelligence in the world. Different people have different skill sets and it's pretty awesome. I've seen people that are very good at different things. So I made a list, I have a little list here, I wrote it down. And one is the pressure to perform. This is something I've seen over and over again from just years of teaching in college. I've known so many smart students that have been in my class. And I've had a lot of friends, both as an undergrad and a graduate student, who were extremely gifted. And the pressure to perform is real. It's very real. Every day when I open my email, I look and I see I have messages and a lot of them are from people who are really good at math. People who have competed in math Olympiads and they're 16 years old and they wanna be you know, a great mathematician or a great physicist. And they are so stressed out, so stressed out. And if you're a person who's struggling with math, if you're that student who doesn't get it, you probably think, well, hey, why are they stressed if they're doing so well? Because they have this, this pressure to perform. They've already been at the top. They've already scored that top score. And they feel like they have to keep doing that. They feel like they have to keep proving it to themselves. They feel like they have to be perfect. It's important to do your best and it's important to try, but you have to accept failure. And I think that's something that people who are used to succeeding have a hard time with. The pressure to perform is real. It's real and it really, really hurts people who are highly intelligent. The second thing I have is fear of failure. Failing is something that people who are intelligent academically and do well in college have a hard time with. I've seen it. I've seen it happen so many times. You know, people get that first F on their test when they're in advanced calculus studying mathematics. It is soul crushing. I have seen people cry because of a bad grade. Failure is a part of life and I think that's something that people who are not academically gifted, people who go to college and don't succeed or have a hard time, I think those failures make them stronger as long as they don't quit, as long as they keep pushing forward. Because they have no choice, right? If, if you're taking a math class, and let's say you're going to college because you want to be a nurse, and you're forced to take some algebra class, you know, that's hard. If, if math is not your thing, if you don't like math and you have to take this math class, that's hard. That's really, really hard. It's a struggle, and so you're gonna fail sometimes. But you have no choice. You have to pick yourself up off the ground and keep pushing. A person who is academically smart has not experienced that, perhaps. But here's the thing. 
eventually everyone gets to the point where they experience it. Everyone struggles with math. It does not matter how good you are. Eventually you will get to the point where you struggle. So if you're watching this video and you're one of those people who doesn't study, doesn't do the homework, you think you have a picture memory, that's great, maybe you do. But I guarantee it that you are gonna reach a point in your academic career where you have to grind. You have to grind hard, my friend. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've had the pleasure of knowing extremely smart people in my life and everyone struggles. The third thing I have is overthinking. Overthinking is something that it's a dream killer. You know, it, it's, it really is. Sometimes you just have to do it. It's like that old Nike slogan, just do it. Take action. People who are intelligent oftentimes, you know, overthink things. They overanalyze things. They think about all the possibilities. Well, what could go wrong? That's a very common, a very common thought process that human beings have about everything. You know, a lot of people will think about doing something or think about studying something, and then their mind immediately goes to, oh, it's like defense mechanism. Like, oh, what can go wrong? What can go wrong? It's that fear of failure that leads you to overthinking. So taking action is key. Don't overthink. Don't overthink. The next one is lack of effort. Lack of effort is one that I have seen in students a lot. You know, I've had a lot of students that are naturally good at mathematics or they already know the math. Like they're in my class and they already know calculus because they studied it in high school. So they're able to do pretty well until they have to learn something new or until they have to work a little bit harder. And then sometimes they have a hard time pushing. Now I'm not saying, you know, smart people are lazy. No, no, no. Most people who are very good in college and are smart, they, they work hard. But there is a subset of that population that doesn't have that drive, that willpower. They don't have that, you know, I'm gonna get it attitude that a lot of the weaker students have, those that have failed, those that have, that have climbed out of the trenches. You know, th there is a big difference between some of these people you know, some of these academically intelligent people, they have strong backgrounds, they learned math when they were nine years old, you know, at the kitchen table and their parents are, you know, math PhDs. People come from all kinds of backgrounds, so you see all kinds. And again, sometimes it's a curse. The next one I have is they don't ask for help. This is simply because of ego, right? If you have never had to ask for help because you've always been able to do it on your own and you're not the kind of person that likes asking for help, then you're probably not going to ask for help. You don't wanna look dumb. You have like this image to portray. It's okay to ask for help. The students who are weaker, they have no choice, right? Because they're trying to survive. So they're gonna go to office hours. They're going to go to the tutoring center. They're going to go to study groups because they're just trying to survive. They're just trying to make it. But the smart person, the academically gifted person, sometimes, not always, not always, sometimes, their ego is just too big to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. In fact, when you ask for help, when you go see your teacher in their office hours and you ask for help, that's, that's a great interaction and it's going to make you stronger, much stronger. The next one is, it's a good one, it can be isolating. This is one that really carries over to all areas of life. You know, if, if you are a person who is intelligent in any way, like, you know, academically intelligent, if you're, if you're a thinker and you're surrounded by people who are not, you're going to feel like you don't belong. So it can be isolating. This one can be fixed. You can try to associate with people who think like you, and that's what people usually do, right? People tend to like people who are like them. That's how human beings are. It's like we're pack animals, you know? So that's, this is one that, that can be resolved if you just try to make some new friends who kind of think the way you do. 
And I just want to say that if you are academically gifted and you are smart and you're struggling with these things, try to be humble. Math has that effect on everyone at some point, on everyone, I've seen it. I remember when I was an undergrad, I had friends who would say stuff like, oh, I don't even study for the test, I have a picture of memory. And I used to think, wow, how are they so good? And I thought they were like gods, you know? And then when I went to grad school, I met people who were really smart, people who were naturally better than I was, and I was humbled. And they were humbled. Why? Because math has that effect on people, right? It does. So being smart can be a curse. Be careful. What do you think? Do you think you're academically gifted? Do you think that these are reasons that intelligent people struggle? Do you have other thoughts to share? If so, leave a comment in the comment section. By the way, if you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Also, I have a bunch of books, a bunch of math books. Links are in the description. I'll just show them to you really quick here. Uh, super, super quick. Two algebra books, super easy. These are for beginners. So if you're, if you're uh, academically gifted, these might be a little bit too easy for you, okay? So not, not, that's not the target audience of my books. Uh, the target audience of my books is people who are struggling with math. Pre-calculus for legends. These are all like, they all have full solutions to every exercise. A book on limits, a book on derivatives, super powered calculus. It's got limits, derivatives, and integrals. And my best book, my best book is not a math book. It's called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life, and this can help you, you know, accomplish anything. The key takeaway from this video is that intelligence can be a curse. It can be isolating. It could lead to lack of effort. It could lead to, you know, you not asking for help, fear of failure. I mean, it, it causes a lot of things. But realize this, if you feel like you're academically smart, try to work on other areas of your life and try to become a more well-rounded individual because again, there's different types of intelligence and you can still grow, not just academically, but in all ways. Anyways, kind of a random video. Let me know what you think. Take care, stay strong my friends.